You guys want to play a game? Sure. All right, really, really fun game. So if you guys remember when we were graphing uh, trigonometric functions, I told you guys graphing is very important to like understand what the function looks like, right? You don't necessarily, I didn't like require a lot of graphing to be done, but I thought it was very important for us to understand which graph is which graph. So let's maybe see if we can identify which graph is which graph. This graph would represent the sine, cosine, with a co, cosecant, secant, tangent, cotangent, right? OK, so we want to be able to recognize them. Now, but in addition to like just recognizing the functions, I also made sure we also talked about a lot of the characteristics. And one of the main characteristics that I talked about was the symmetry. And if you guys remember, there's two types of symmetry we've discussed in this class. There is y-axis symmetry. That means if a graph is symmetrical about the y-axis, then in chapter one, we called that function even. And we also, we also provided a algebraic notation to determine if something was even. f of negative x equals f of x. Then the other type of symmetry that we talked about was about the origin, or the x and the y-axis. And those types of functions we called add. And the algebraic representation of that was f of negative x equals opposite of f of x. Here, I'm kind of ran out of space. Let me do it a little bit lower. Yes? Yes, yes, good. OK, so let's go ahead and identify then which of these functions are even or odd. I think I talked about them every single time we did one of these graphs, but maybe I forgot. So let's look at sine. I think the easiest thing to do is see if it's reflected about the y-axis. So you take this graph reflected about the y-axis, do you get the same graph? No, so let's check origin. Reflected about the y-axis, reflected about the x, and then we notice that it is odd, because it is symmetrical about the origin. So what that means is, if it's symmetrical about the origin, then this applies. right? Now, I don't need to use f of x anymore, because I actually have a function here. We said that this is the graph of sine of x. So sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine of theta. Now, you know what? We should probably be careful, though, because are, are we really sure? So you could either think of the unit circle, if you want to, or look at the graph. Sine of pi halves is 1. Sine of negative pi halves, think unit circle, is negative 1. So is the sine of negative pi halves equal to the opposite of the sine of pi halves? The sine of negative pi halves is what? Negative 1, right? Sine of negative, right? Sine of pi halves is equal, is equal to 1, right? Sine of pi halves is equal to 1, but it's the opposite. <laughs> see how that works? Right? And let's do another one. Let's go ahead and look at cosine. You can see cosine is symmetrical about the y-axis. So that's even. So using this notation, f of negative x equals f of x, we could say cosine of negative theta is equal to the cosine of theta. Now, again, I don't want to take anything for granted. Let's check some angles. This is pi. This is negative pi, if you know the unit circle. At pi, we're given negative 1. At negative pi, we're at negative 1. Is the cosine of negative pi equal to the cosine of pi? Yes. Yeah, so you can see how that algebraic works, as well as the graph shows that. Okay. Um, now, rather than doing that for all the rest of them, I'm just going to kind of eyeball the symmetry and then write the corresponding language. You guys can see that this is symmetrical uh, also about the origin. So we could say cosecant of negative theta is equal to negative cosecant of theta. You can see secant is symmetrical about the y-axis. So secant of negative theta is equal to secant of theta. Tangent is reflective about the origin, so that's odd. So therefore, we have tangent of negative theta is equal to negative tangent of theta. And cotangent's not as easy to recognize. Um, 
So that's why I drew two periods for cotangent. But by drawing two periods, you can see it doesn't have symmetry about the y-axis, but actually it does have symmetry about the origin. So cotangent mega theta equals negative cotangent of theta. You OK? OK. So what you guys can see here is these are all, these are um, identities. Basically, one is equal to the other, just like over here, right? Cosecant's equal to 1 over sine. Like, these are the same thing. But these are based on a function being even or odd. Hence, their name, the even and odd identities.